Dean Ambrose left WWE in 2019 for AEW and this company would not be the same without him. But what if he didn't? Well today I'm putting Dean Ambrose back in 2019 WWE to see if he could win the one championship he never won during this time, the Universal Championship. And we're starting at the money in the bank. We already are off to a good start as Dean Ambrose is not in the money in the bank ladder match. Let's see who gets to win though. Jay Uso, okay. There's one problem with Dean trying to go for the Universal title. In this universe mode, real events happen. A WWE draft, the pandemic era, and even gimmick changes will happen during this time, which will affect Dean Ambrose and where the Universal title lands during this simulation. We are on Raw and Dean Ambrose is now locked in a rivalry with The Fiend. Just like in real life at this time, the winner of this rivalry will face Seth Rollins at Hell in a Cell. So let's see who's gonna get the first one in this rivalry. Dean Ambrose got the win. Interestingly enough, Braun Strowman, out of all people, was the one to replace Bray Wyatt. Hopefully Bray stops with all that creepy stuff in his rivalry. They are in the main event this week. Let's see what they cooking up though. Dean Ambrose got the win over Bray Wyatt this week. Surely some shenanigans popped off. Bray Wyatt Wyatt lured his opponent into a cheap shot with a fake offer to shake hands, catching him with one of the oldest tricks in wrestling. Dean Ambrose will have to keep his wits about him while his opponent tries to manipulate him to his disadvantage. Bray Wyatt and manipulation go together. You should know this, bro. We are now headed to the go-home show for SummerSlam. We need Dean to get the rivalry this week. I mean, not the rivalry, the momentum this week. Crucial match right here. And Bray Wyatt picked up a win. Standing up to his enemy's aggression, Dean Ambrose got even from last week and gave Bray Wyatt a taste of his own offense. Being no stranger to his rival's intensity, he's made it clear that he won't back down in this rivalry no matter how rough it gets. And with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, we are now headed to the biggest party of the summer, SummerSlam. Seth in the main event, he's a universal champion, right? Oh, no, he's not. Who's universal champion? Who did he lose the title to? Oh, well, it's just a non-title match. Okay. <laughs> Dean Ambrose, Bray Wyatt, the seventh match on the card for the number one contender's opportunity. And Dean Ambrose picked up the W. Let's go. I genuinely thought The Fiend was going to pick this one up. Big win for Dean Ambrose, though. Ladies and gentlemen, we have made it to hell in a cell. Dean Ambrose has an opportunity to secure the Universal title. He needs to do it right now because after this, we have a big twist. So let's get on with it. Rollins versus Ambrose, former brothers, and Seth Rollins retains the Universal Championship. This ain't good for Dean Ambrose at all. I will tell you that. <laughs> the 2019 WWE Draft is now in effect. This means new stages, new titles, and stars have now switched brands. But what does this mean for Dean Ambrose? He is still trying to win the Universal title, which is still on Raw. But Dean Ambrose has been drafted to SmackDown. He now needs to win the Royal Rumble to have a shot at the Universal Championship. Alright, so we have been drafted to the Smack Dizzle. Jey Uso is the WWE Champion. Shinsuke Nakamura is holding the Intercontinental Championship. Jimmy Uso and Jey Uso are the SmackDown Tag Team Champions. And Sasha Banks is holding the SmackDown Women's Championship. Our next pay-per-view is the Royal Rumble. It's my boy here this week. Oh, he is. Dean Ambrose going up against Kofi Kingston. Kofi got a win over you? Don't let us down now. <laughs> Need to win this Royal Rumble. I don't know why you playing around. Is he booked this week? Okay, he's going to do a match against Kofi. I like that. I like that. And he lost two weeks straight against Kofi freaking Kingston. We are at the Go Home Show to the Rumble. Dean, I'm going to need you to get a win right quick. And Dean Ambrose got the win. Nice. Finally. Finally. And with that being said, let's head to the Royal freaking Rumble. We are at the Royal Rumble pay-per-view. The man, sturdy man, Royal Rumble is the fifth match on the card. Hopefully, Dean's not booked. Let me see. Let me see. No. He's not. Okay. And at number seven, we have Dean Ambrose coming out. Sack match right now. We got Shorty G. We got Cesaro. Dean, nah, you missed that. 
as I was saying, we got Braun, we got Xavier, and we have a big E all up against Zee and Ambrose. I'm liking my chances, besides the fact that we came out at number seven, but I'm liking my chances. <laughs> Sammy Zayn coming got at number eight. Big E trying to get Braun Strowman over the top, bro. Good luck with that one. Zee and Ambrose now going after Braun Strowman him himself. Oh, Braun, Braun, it don't have to be like this. Kofi Kingston now entering at number nine in this Royal Rumble match. Two out of the three members of the New Day have entered this match so far. Let's go, Dean. Let's go, Dean. Let's go, Dean. Let's go, Dean. Sit down, Shorty G. Dean Ambrose back suplex. And another suplex to Braun Strowman. Big E is taking it to Dean Ambrose. Xavier Woods is taking it to Dean Ambrose also. What, what is the New Day's problem with Dean Ambrose? First, it was Kofi all those weeks on SmackDown. Now, it's Xavier Woods targeting Dean Ambrose. And just a second ago, it was Big E. What is y'all's deal, bro? <laughs> Do I need to reform the shield or something? Oh, Cesaro trying to eliminate Dean Ambrose. Oh, and Cesaro missed by a thread. He missed by a thread. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, Dean Ambrose hits Cesaro with the lariat. Oh, Dean Ambrose now looking to eliminate Claudio. No. Dean Ambrose now going for a suplex, and he hits it on Kofi. Braun Strowman now wants to work against Dean Ambrose. Dean, no! Braun Strowman just eliminated Dean Ambrose. No way, bro. Out of all people, this man... A train. <laughs> nice jobs. Okay, now, now we now we don't even know who won the Royal Rumble. It's not it's not even popping up. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, I did send the car. <laughs> Nah, bro. Dean Ambrose, he got a score to settle with the New Day. I'm sorry. Dean Ambrose versus Big E. Dean Ambrose got the win. Yeah, this one coming. Dean Ambrose's victory was punctuated with a vicious attack on Big E with the chair after the match. The superstar's aggression on full display in his attempt to crush his rival. The assault has left Big E with an injury, but officials expect a quick recovery for him. Nah, nah, we about to run through him. We about to run through him. Mr. Langston and Ambrose are running it back up. Big E won this time. No, I'm kind of wondering where is Ambrose in the rankings. He is number three in the rankings. I think we can definitely change that by WrestleMania. Oh, hold on now. Big E came out of his match with the win and tried to make an example out of Dean Ambrose with a career-threatening attack. Apollo Crews? What? Made the timely save and stopped the attack, likely crossing with a dangerous superstar in the process. I did not know Dean Ambrose and Apollo Crews had something going on. This is completely new information to me, and I'm sure it is to you, <laughs> as we are now headed to the go-home show. I wonder if they're gonna double down on that story. What was Apollo Crews cooking? Apparently, he cooked something because Dean Ambrose won this match. Dean Ambrose came out of his match with a win and tried to make an example out of Big E with a career-threatening attack. Xavier Woods made the timely save and stopped the attack, likely crossing with the danger superstar in the process. Now, we're just getting saved back and forth. Okay, it is now time for Elimination Chamber. Even though we are at the beginning of the card, it is the end of this feud for Ambrose and E. And E got the win. Ambrose did not get revenge bro should he have not came back to wwe <laughs> and now we are entering the pandemic era yikes we are back in the performance center and goldberg came back during this time and dean ambrose now only has two months to win the universal championship why are Biggie and Dean Ambrose are teaming now? Creative plans have been thrown out the window for this man, bro. Creative plans have completely been thrown out. Ambrose versus Sami. Is he even going to get a win with this against Sami Zayn from 2020? In a match, no one asked for. Okay, it, at least he got that. Where, where, where is he at in the rankings? He is number five. <laughs> is he even booked this week, man? Dean Ambrose and Daniel Bryan teaming. BCC before it was BCC. And the New Day get the win definitely should have stayed definitely should have stayed in AEW. then now daniel bryan's going up against dean ambrose and daniel bryan be <laughs> this is a downfall of dean we are one week away from wrestlemania i would usually say right now hopefully he can make something happen but no no none, none of that no ambrose going against bryan again this week and bryan beats him again one of you guys i need y'all to tell me his record in the comments below if he's been keeping up because man <laughs> we are at wrestlemania before we do anything let's just search for dean if he's even here nope 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 who ends off as a world champion for smackdown at, at least let it be daniel right 
Oh, um, and it's Jay. Of course it was Jay. Universe Mode knew we was going to AEW. 